Mrs. Chalk Techie here, and I'm super excited because today we're doing something fun, and it's adding a Bitmoji uh, Chrome extension to your Chrome browser. All right, so it's gonna be fun, and I'm also gonna talk about how we can utilize it to enhance our teaching and our learning in our classrooms and making things fun. And uh, who doesn't like a cute Bitmoji, right? <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna move on really quick. And first of all, guys, it's important for you to know that extensions work on your Chrome browser, all right? So uh, you need to be using Chrome in order to be able to add this extension. If you do not have Chrome at this point, I need you guys to put pause on me right now and I have the link right here. I'm also gonna put the link down on the description so you can easily just click on it and that's gonna help you download that browser. You might be using something like a Firefox or a Safari, but the Chrome extension only works under Google Chrome. So if you need to do that first, put pause and then come back, I'll be waiting here, all right? If not, let's get started. So what are web extensions? They're basically uh, tools that help us accomplish tasks uh, more efficiently. It, it, like it says, it enables users to tailor their Chrome functionality and behavior to our individual needs and our preferences. So let me just uh, explain a couple of the ones I have. The amount of web extensions that are out there are, are endless. And how you, what you need them for or what they can accomplish, I mean, it's just so many different ways and so many things that they can do. These are just a few that I have, like, of course, my Grammarly, uh, because every time I'm typing somewhere, I have this extension and it tells me, no, uh, your grammar's pretty bad there. Let me try to help you fix it. So uh, that's one of them. I've got my Google Keep. Uh, I've got an online timer that helps me uh, with classroom management, uh, and it's so easy to use. Ed Puzzle, I've got Hangouts, Screencastify, uh, and of course my Bitmoji. So those are just some extensions. There's so many more out there. It's just up to you how many you wanna add. I've had to limit myself and I do need to clean these up a little bit more too. So those are just some of the web extensions. I do wanna show you where exactly they're located. So I'm gonna exit out of this presentation. So this is where you'll find your extensions up here. And, um, like I, like I mentioned, there's different types of extensions that I use, like my Grammarly, of course, uh, which I use a lot. Uh, every time I'm typing and there's a like a text field, it'll pop up and it'll tell me, yeah, you might wanna uh, change that. Let me help you uh, with your grammar right there. So that's been a lifesaver, but there's different uh, extensions that I use. The timer feature, love it, really quick, easy timer. Kids look at it, keeps them on task. So anyways, there's a ton of different extensions. Notice I don't have my Bitmoji here. We're gonna be adding, adding that to our extensions here, to our Chrome browser. These down here are literally bookmarks and I, all I did was take away the name from there so that all I'm left with is the icon, all right? So before we actually get started with downloading that Chrome extension to our browser, it's important for you guys to know that you need to already have an account with Bitmoji set up, okay? So like, I, like it says, Bitmoji is only the extension that we're gonna be adding, so it needs to already be created. How, how can you create one? You can either create it through your Snapchat. If you already have one, then you should probably already have a, a Bitmoji account, or you can go to bitmoji.com or download the app at your App Store or Google Play, uh, Bitmoji, and it's gonna ask you to create an account using an email, a Gmail account, all right? Because it is on your Chrome browser, so a Gmail account is required. Now, once you create your account, guys, I want you to keep in mind that that is on your Bitmoji account is where you actually, on your app, is actually where you create your, your OOTDs, your outfit of the days, right? So that's where you actually make your avatar look the way you, you hope looks like you. Yeah, I hope. My, I guess my hair doesn't look that way so much, but I try. Um, so make sure that you set all that up beforehand. Again, you can press pause. Get it done really quick, guys, so that we can set up this Chrome extension, all right? So now that you've set up, uh, you, you've activated your account, your Bitmoji account, now it's time to actually add that extension so that it populates your little avatar on there. You can go to chrome.google.com forward slash web store on your URL, or I've also added this link uh, on the description below. So if you want, you can just scroll down a little, 
Click on it and it'll take you to the web store directly to bitmoji.com. If not, let's uh, follow me and we'll do it together, guys. So I open another tab and here I am, chrome.google.com and you can easily search for bitmoji.com on the web store. And you're gonna get these two things. You want this one up here and what you wanna do is you wanna add it to Chrome. Now you can also click on it and it's gonna take you uh, to some specs, some uh, specifics about it, so an overview, reviews, some support. Is your, is, is your uh, device compatible? Of course, you need to use the Chrome browser. So things like that. So once you're ready, you're gonna click on Add to Chrome. The first thing that's gonna ask you is, are you gonna allow all these permissions? Do you wanna add this, this extension? So of course, yes, add extension. And then it's working on it. And mine's automatically logged in because I've already saved my account previously, I had it. Uh, but right now at this moment, it's gonna ask you to either log in with your Snapchat or your email account. So go ahead and do that. Press pause and log in. And when you're ready, pr press play and I'll be here. Alrighty guys, so super cool. We have our Chrome extension here, our Bitmoji. If I click on it, it's going to populate a couple of um, the most popular uh, Bitmojis there. I can actually also search. So if I'm searching for happy, of course, you get you get all your happy that apply. If you're searching for uh, one that says hello, you have all the ones that say hello there and you can keep scrolling. Uh, what I love about having this as an extension is that it allows you to drag and drop, especially with your Google uh, apps. So here I'm on my slides presentation. So if I'm working on a presentation for my kiddos, I can easily grab one of these and then all I have to do is click and drag and it'll take a bit, but it'll be there and then I just have to resize it, right? So always remember so that we don't lose the proportions or, uh, of, our, of our image, we constrain it by pulling at the corners. So if you pull at the corners, it stays intact, the shape, right? So really easy, did you guys just see that? It was just a drag and drop. So I love that, that this works on Google Slides, Docs, Sheets, your Google Classroom. Try it on other places and it might work also. But if you see that it doesn't work, this is what you can do. You click on it, guys, and then once it populates, uh, you can actually right-click and save the image as, and I can go like that, and I can click on Working From Home, and I'm gonna just save it on my desktop. I could create a folder on my desktop and title it Bitmojis, and now, if you notice, um, it's downloaded here, and it's showing me that I've downloaded it to my desktop. So now I have it on my desktop. And if I have it on my desktop, that means I can add it anywhere else that I want uh, if I'm working on Keynote, if I'm working on PowerPoint. Now, in addition to that, you don't have to save them. Uh, you can just right click, copy the image, and it'll be copied to your clipboard. And then you can take it outside of Google Chrome and you can paste it on, uh, like I mentioned, uh, PowerPoint and Keynote, uh, Word documents, and it'll work, guys. So that's a really neat, neat feature. What do you guys think? Easy, right? Super easy, really cool. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is how you can actually customize your Bitmoji with uh, specific words that you're, you're teaching, okay, guys? So let me just show you this really quick, and I learned this from a colleague of mine, Miss uh, Ana Maria Perez, and I was just amazed by it. And I guess, I don't know if it's a little bit of the nerd in me that I think that's really cool. You can actually uh, customize the words that are coming out on your Bitmoji. So if you're doing um, awesome, oops, I don't know how to spell awesome. Awesome, I can actually put awesome and then type in my name, exclamation mark. And now what's gonna happen is my Bitmoji has customized uh, and it says awesome B, right? Because my name is B. So uh, I love that. Now I can actually customize my bit and emojis um, to say maybe something that I'm teaching, right? So uh, here's I'm gonna just drag this one just so that you see what I'm what I'm talking about. 
love this one right here. And so uh, you can actually customize them. And now this one says awesome bee. So think about all the things that you could use it for. So here's an example that I'm going to show you next. My teachers, uh, my ELA teachers, they use a acronym called SMIFA for figurative language. And I'm not entirely um, sure what exactly it all stands for. Uh, I am a history teacher, but you can directly integrate your Bitmojis into, let's say, worksheets or assignments, and you can add them on the corners so that they remember those specific acronyms that go with that content. So SMIFA, when it comes to figurative language, which is simile, metaphor, I don't know, personification, hyperbole, assimilation, no, as association, I, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I actually asked my teacher friend, Miss Claudia, and she told me, but I forgot, um, I could look it up, but anyways, you guys get the idea. <laughs> so um, if you add those to your resources, the kids can take them home and they can remember. It's a good uh, muscle memory act, uh, way for them to always have it there and it'll help them remember uh, that acronym or that strategy that you guys are using. So just really cute way to integrate it into your classroom. The last one, guys, to end this uh, tutorial is uh, here's another way, and I always like to give credit where credit is due. So another colleague of mine uh, from my district brought this over. I, I, I don't know. I believe she got it from San Antonio ISD. I don't recall. Uh, but many, many years ago was this activity where you can create a QR code, right? And you can actually cut it in half. And then uh, once you put it together, if it scans, it's correct. It's a good match. So on the top part, you'll put your word, your term, and on the bottom part will be the definition. So the kids can walk around trying to find who the, the correct word and definition are. And if it scans, then it will scan at correctly. Like it'll actually scan and populate an image. And before it used to say like, good job and great job, right? But what if we can make them our Bitmojis saying awesome or great work? So that's another thing that I think would be really cool. So let me show you. If you go to here, your Bitmoji extension, and then if you right click, so I'm gonna just find something here. Ooh, I don't know, air hugs. <laughs> right click, copy image address. Every QR code works through uh, URLs, through links, right? Through addresses. So uh, that means if it has one, I can make a QR code out of it. And if you're interested, here's my little plug. If you're interested in QR codes, I do have a YouTube tutorial all about QR codes, how you can use them, how they can be created, and how you can customize them. So take a look at that. But uh, continuing with this, I'm going to copy that image address, and it's copied to my clipboard. I'm going to take it to a simple QR code generator, and I clicked on URL, and I'm going to type in uh, I'm going to paste the, the link on there. So I'm going to try it one more time. Paste it. Notice as soon as I paste it, it changes it. And I'm going to see if you guys can take a look at what I'm, uh, what I'm seeing here. I'm going to use my phone. And voila, there it is. I hope you guys can see that. And so uh, it actually acts as a QR code. And so if the kids scan this document, and it populates this, that means it's correct. Or else, if they're trying to match two that are not correct, it won't scan. It won't, uh, because those two don't match with each other. Does that make sense? And so all you have to do is copy image address and you make a QR code. Copy image address and make another one. And you can make, you know, if you have 10 vocabulary words for the week, uh, you can make them like that and do a fun activity where it's both kinesthetic, the kids can walk around and, and, and scan it. There's so many other ways you can use it, guys, but I did want to give you a couple uh, of the ways that I could easily see being integrated into the classroom. Uh, but I hope you guys like that, and I hope that you guys were able to set it up uh, and keep coming back. Uh, I am going to go and show you something really quick, and uh, I just wanted to show you uh, that I am on all social media platforms. Well, not all of them, but for the most part, the main ones. You can find me on Facebook. Instagram, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Please comment. Um, I appreciate a comment. 
let me know if I'm talking too fast. I tend to do that. Uh, I've been told, uh, especially by my admin, but my kids love it. Uh, so uh, anyways, um, and of course, don't forget to subscribe so that every time I do upload new content, you guys, uh, you get notified. All right. So thank you so much for taking the time and we'll see you guys later. Have a good one.